Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, we will learn about the another concept that is nothing but event binding. So we have learned about the property binding and we have seen about the class binding, style binding and these are all the things we have seen it. Attribute binding, these are all the things we have seen it. Now we let's try to learn about the event binding. Event binding lets you listen and respond user actions such as keystrokes, mouse movement, movements, clicks and touches etc. So how you will try to do it to bind an event for this one. So what we will be trying to do it is let's open this one here and I will try to show you in the notepad plus plus. So if you are having notepad plus like this means so the thing is so for example let's say that you are having a button you are having a button and click here if you try to use it click here and the button and the event you will be having it is the so we will be using something like event name here the event name may, may be click event key event keyboard event anything and here you can have is equal to and the template statement so you can have the template statement here so that is one thing so this one is the target event name and the last one is the template statement now what i will try to do is i will try to show you in the real time example here so for example let's say that i am having a button so i will close this one all so i am having one button so do button and here i can write click here okay so now so in this click here so when i am trying to do it here so i whenever i click on this button so i need to have some particular action to be performed so what i need to do for this one in order to have this particular action to be performed so what we need to do it is so here we need to bind like this and the click event so here we will be writing the click event and here i will be writing the method something like on save anything now when you go here in the app component.ts file so here you can write the method that is nothing but on save so here you can write it like this and i will do console.log of so click so now if you try to see here in our console in this one and if i try to click on this button so now you'll be able to see the click event so that means this particular method is fine so now if you want to find the event target or something like that means so then we can use the <coughs> dollar event so for example let's say that you want to find the determine the event target means then we will be using the one important thing that is nothing but dollar event okay so now if you try to use this dollar event and here you can write event you can capture it using event and you can write something like mouse event that's it so now if you want to check this event thing console.log event if you try to see and if I click on this one so if I press on click on this one so you will be able to see a pointer event and in this one you will be able to have everything so like this you can have it so if the target event name my click so like this you will be having it <coughs> so the another one which I want to tell you is keyboard events so you can also match with the keyboard events also for example let's say that so whenever the user uh, you are having an input button let's assume that you are having an input button do input type is equal to text okay type is equal to text and here so whoever on key down is equal to so you can you can write key down on key okay so you can take the dollar event also so that's not a problem so here like this so now on key so we are having this on key let's go into this one and you can have on key and uh, here you can write something like console.log key down okay sorry key down you can write it key down key down now if you try to see the example for this one so let's try to okay argument it is asking it right so fine yeah now if i try to oh, where is this input box so let's try to go it here okay it is taking the event so here if you don't know what is the type of event means so you can write simply the event also you can mention it like this that's it now if you try to see yeah i will write some key here so whatever the thing i am trying to press here i am able to get a key down now if i want to know what is the type of key i am pressing it means so here you can write console.log console.log of event so i can type the event now if you try to check see whatever the things i am trying to press so code key d so 
so you will be able to see the d as so like this we are pressing it so this is how you can able to get it for example let's say that you want to notify the multiple keys something like if the user presses shift t then only i need to execute the method means then what we need to do it is so here you can write key down dot shift dot t so you can write it like this in such a way that so now whatever the keys you are pressing it will not fire but when you press shift t then you will be able to see the shift t you will be able to get it so like this you can also have something like alt t shift t so like this you can have anything whatever the things you want you can do it so this is how you can do the key 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 events you can direct it and also you can have the click events also so we can also have something like in uh, um, what i want to tell you is uh, scrolling events these all the things you can have it and you can also bind it to a passive events also if you in index.html you can use window.zone events dot passive events scroll you can give it so then the scroll event will become a passive event so this is somewhat advanced technique so that is not necessary for most of the applications but you may find this useful when you need to optimize the handling of frequency occurring events that are causing performance problems so that is crawling these things will be happening so that's it about this uh, event binding thing in the next video we will try to learn about the two way binding hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you